is well. Whoa, I look yellow. Click it. John this. his or hers i'm kaylee i'm jesse so as many of you know and for those of you that don't know bernie sanders recently endorsed hillary don't do that little quiver lip so unfortunately hillary clinton is the democratic nominee and she will be going up against donald trump it was a sad sad day in america so the questions come up whether or not bernie should have endorsed hillary there's many support bernie supporters out there out there that are saying that he shouldn't have there's many people out there that are saying he should have and others are suggesting that he should have endorsed jill stein who's jill stein i don't know we just got bombarded on our last bernie video with people telling us vote for jill stein he's like who the fuck's jill stein oh a third party candidate third parties never win I just want to point out that no third party has ever won the presidency. Is it about winning or is it about putting your trust and your beliefs in someone that has the same ideas as you? It's always about winning. If you're not first, you're last, Ricky Bobby. Anyway, all shits and giggles aside, let's get to the point. He shouldn't have endorsed Hillary. I mean, I don't really care if he would have endorsed somebody else or just done his own thing i think i'm more leaning towards done his own thing but it's not that big of a deal to me just not hillary why not come on good to it don't look at me i am a clear hillary hater here drink some haterade that's water i have never ever not once in my life flip-flop the way this lady has like i said in my previous video she's a pancake you gotta let them know how she's a pancake she could be a waffle for all we know. Everybody that knows Hillary knows she did not support gays getting married and then all of a sudden married and then all of a sudden she supported it. I am voting for the lesser of two evils, like I always say. Even though Bernie does not admit that is the reason why he's endorsing her, ultimately it is over the lesser of two evils. He's clearly stated that he cannot allow Trump to take the White House. I have nothing against a democracy. I believe that we all should have the power to elect people to represent us. But there are many people that are uneducated, many people that are irrational. Winston Churchill said it best. The best argument against democracy is a five minute conversation with the average voter. There are some stupid people out there and those stupid people, they will vote for Donald Trump. If Hillary Clinton does not succeed, there is no way that a third party candidate will win. It has never happened in US history. Unfortunately, our political system favors a two party system. If Hillary Clinton does not win, Donald Trump will take the White House. She is definitely shady as fuck. Probably as shady as politicians come, but there is no denying that her ideas are much more progressive. If we allow Donald Trump to win, we are gonna backtrack on those progressive ideas that have been established. Guys, you have to understand why he decided to endorse Hillary. And that was for the Democratic Party to run on a much more progressive platform. They are endorsing the minimum wage should be at $15 per hour. They are looking into free tuition college for students whose families make under $125,000 a year. They are looking to expand the Affordable Health Care Act. Is Hillary Clinton as progressive as Bernie Sanders? No. Is she running on progressive ideas? Yes. I am completely on board with Bernie on this. He stayed in the race as long as he could to push for these progressive ideas and I think he succeeded to some degree. The problem I'm having is everyone thinks that just because he endorsed her, all of the Bernie supporters should now support Hillary. No. Just because he did it does not mean I have to do it. He did what he had to do for whatever his reasons may be and me and many other people are going to do what we feel we need to do and if that's not voting or voting for Jill Stein or somebody else or writing in the ballot then that's what they're going to do. Oh can you write in Jesse Salinas? Okay. Oh, so Jesse you know, Salinas for president 2016. So in the interview they said there's only about an eight point difference percentage wise for Hillary and Donald Trump. What bothers me is they say, Hillary needs all the votes she can get. Bernie supporters. It's like, don't pressure me into something I don't feel comfortable doing. I don't like her. I don't like what she's done. I think people like that are despicable. Da, da, da. It does annoy me that he 
endorsed her because in an interview he said, quote, so I'm reading this because I don't want to mess this up. You know there's people out there that'll be like, that's what he said. <laughs> you missed an A. Politics isn't a baseball game with winners or losers. It's about whether we protect the needs of millions of people in this country who are hurting. And to be honest, I don't think she will do everything she needs to to do that. Yes, it makes me a little bit irritated because it's like, you don't even believe that. I don't believe it. You don't believe it. He don't believe it. Can't sit there and say that, like something so powerful, and then be like, she's all right. She's better than another person. I need somebody that's going to stick up for me and the millions of people hurting. And I'm sorry, it ain't you, girl. You know who it is? Jesse Salinas for president 2016. He's so dumb. And I guess, yes, he could have supported Jill Stein. A lot of people have commented on our video, like links and stuff. Still learning about her, but I think I would have preferred him just to do his own thing, especially because he's done all this on his own and people really believe in what he's saying and not what other people are saying. So I say, you know what? Just fucking stick that shit out, right? Like, you got your supporters. You have people that believe in what you say and what you believe in and just finish that shit. Don't endorse nobody. That's you. That's all you. You gain these supporters by yourself. By the way, with these talks, we don't like to get really in-depth and heated because we all know how that type of stuff goes. So we like to just, the surface is better for all of us. And we do appreciate all the people that commented on our last video. All the hate that I got. And all the love I got. Guys, help me out here. You know Donald Trump can't take the White House, so whose opinion do you agree with? His? Or hers. Whatever you guys think, comment below and let us know. And if you like what you saw and you want to keep seeing more stuff like you saw, don't forget to subscribe. On a more happier note, enjoy the Pokemon in the background. Relax. Don't tense up with this video. You guys need to chill out and play Pokemon Go. Oh, dude, yes. Although it, it does get pretty stressful when you're looking for a Pokemon. Okay, maybe not.